Hey everyone, how are you? Uh, welcome back to art class. So today we are going to spend a little time focusing on an artist. Um, a lot of the artists that we talk about in art are from a long time ago, hundreds and hundreds of years uh, in, in most cases. So today is a little different because the artist we're talking about is like still around, still alive, still making art. Um, today, we're gonna learn just a little bit about an artist from Atlanta named Greg Mike. So, Greg Mike is uh, famous for murals. Now, when we think of uh, a mural, we're, we're talking about a big giant painting, usually painting, um, on, on the other side of a building. Uh, so Greg Mike got his kind of art career started doing graffiti and we've talked about graffiti a little bit and we know that there's some differences between graffiti that's okay and graffiti that will get you in trouble. Um, remember, the one that'll get you in trouble is if you did something like this and you didn't have permission. So anytime you see someone spray painting on the side of a building, that doesn't mean they're necessarily supposed to be there or not supposed to be there. Um, the goal would always be, of course, to uh, have permission before you do something like Greg Mike does. And even though that's how he got started, now he definitely has permission. Um, he is uh, very popular, very famous. People hire him from all over the world. Um, different cities all over the planet have paid him to come uh, make art in, in their city. So he is uh, most famous. He got his, his kind of start with this character right here. Uh, this is a guy named Larry Loudmouth. So like Loudmouth, but with an F, Loudmouth. So you will see this character in a lot of his artwork. Um, it is kind of based on some, some characters and things from, from older cartoons. Think, think cartoons from like the, the 1950s, like the old like Bugs Bunny cartoons and, and things like that. So even though this character is just kind of based on those old cartoons, um, a lot of his artwork actually uses uh, old cartoons in it. Um, it's okay to take something and use it as like your inspiration. So it's not like he's just kind of copying these things, which, you know, that's not, that's not very creative, but he is using them in, in a way of, of inspiration and uh, in a different way than we would normally see them. So a lot of these other ones you will probably recognize. So we've got Donald Duck. It's Donald Duck, right? We can tell, but there's, of course, some, some crazy stuff going on there that we wouldn't normally see with Donald Duck. Uh, we've got Popeye of Popeye the Sailor Man fame, one of my favorites. Uh, not all of the stuff he does is based on the old uh, cartoons. Here's one with someone that I'm sure we will all recognize. SpongeBob. So this one kind of combines his loudmouth, loudmouth character and something that we would all recognize. So a lot of his artwork is kind of a combination of some of his own stuff, some ideas that he's taken as, as inspiration from other people. Um, couple more things real quick. I want to show you two of his really big murals. This is one from Atlanta, and as you can see, another thing he does on some of his murals is he combines like very realistic uh, painting depictions of animals with some of those more cartoony characters that he has. So here's the first one, and this other one I'm also like 90% sure is from Atlanta as well. There we go. So we are going to uh, make some artwork today based on his character, Larry Loudmouth. So today, you're gonna make your own Loudmouth. So one thing to keep in mind um, with the characters, these Loudmouth characters that he makes, is they are, they are bright, they are simple. Um, 
they are uh, fun fun to look at and the reason those those three things are important is because of where he puts his artwork here he puts it out into the world he puts it out in public they're they're on huge buildings and, and things like that um, so he wants them to be like eye-catching and when we think of things that are like bright and fun to look at and even simple those things will will really grab people's attention um, when we see art in the world like this there's a bunch of different names for it um, of course graffiti because it is spray paint on a building a mural would be some of these examples um, people will also refer to it as public art because it's out in the public and then kind of another kind of catch-all term for this would be street art so if you hear any of those terms used it's kind of the same thing all right so that's a little bit about greg mike that's a little bit about his loud mouth characters um now we're gonna kind of work together to come up with some of our own loud mouths let's start drawing all right, so for our drawing today, we're going to need a piece of paper. We are going to need a pencil and we're definitely going to want some colors so we can make our versions of our loudmouth characters real bright and colorful, just like Greg Mike's would be. So you can just focus on coming up with one character. That's fine. Or you can do a couple. I'm, I'm going to do three. I think. Um, now these are based on his, so we're, we're definitely taking some ideas from him, some inspiration from him, but it'll be your own creation. So a couple things to think about. When we think about the, the outsides of his characters, especially that, that one, Larry Loudmouth, it's, it's a geometric shape, right? It's just a square. So for the outside of my characters, I'm also going to use geometric shapes. Um, when we think about his characters, we usually see eyes. Some have two eyes, some have three, some have one. Um, and we would see the mouth, right? Because it couldn't be a loud mouth without a mouth. So I'm going to do three. I'm going to choose different shapes so they're not all the same. And then I'm going to give it uh, kind of a background, again, kind of based on some of his stuff. So let's see here. I think I am going to start with, let's start with a rectangle. I'm going to go just a little bit and then give some room over here. A little bit and give it some room so I can fit some eyes in here. And I'm going to make some of my eyes look a lot like the eyes he makes. And then we need a mouth. So on his loudmouth character, it, it's a square. Uh, you don't really need to use a square. I think for this one, at least, I'm going to give just kind of a nice smile shape. Going to give him some teeth. And let's see, a few more teeth down here. And I'm going to draw that tongue in there like we would see on the loudmouth characters. All right, so there's one. Now, for all of these, you don't have to do this. I want to go ahead and make this thing look just a little bit 3D. Again, you don't have to do this. I'm just going to make some of mine look a little 3D. All right, so there's kind of a smallish rectangle one. I'm going to do like a big triangle one. Uh, same thing. I'm going to leave some space up near the top for his eyes. Or maybe just I. Maybe on this one, maybe I'm just going to do one real big I. Going to give him a mouth, a couple of teeth, give this guy some nice little vampire teeth, and the tongue. All right, let's see. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about making that one 3D. Uh, one more down here. I'm going to do sort of a 
I'm going to start with the eyes on this one. I'm going to do one big eye and one little eye because that seems funny. Maybe some eye, eye lashes. I'm going to try for like an octagon shape. So an octagon has eight sides. Like that. Let me give him a big giant screamy mouth. And I think this one I will I will go with some of my 3D lines. All right, so there are my three. Um, I could have made them all huge, all little. I could have made one huge, some little. Uh, again, you can just do one if you want. Um, it's up to you. They could be overlapping. It's entirely, entirely up to you. The important part, we need some eyes. We need a geometric shape, just you know, a normal shape that we all know the names to uh, on the, the outside. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and it's gonna it's gonna bother me if I've got this one shape that does not have my 3d lines so I'm gonna go ahead and do that there we go all right now I'm gonna give it a background just a real simple pattern um, if you look at some of his uh, examples that I put on our site you'll see he uses these shapes that kind of almost sort of look like cartoon kind of clouds a little bit so I'm gonna just add some of those in since we're doing this whole thing kind of based on his artwork figure maybe it wouldn't hurt to do even my background kind of based on his same ideas all right one more like that all right, so I'm going to go ahead and color this. I'm going to do that real quick so I don't waste any more of your time. Uh, we'll see what the final one looks like, and then you guys can get started. So there we go. This is my uh, Larry Loudmouth character inspired artwork. Um, if I would have wanted to take more time, I could have colored the whole background in. That's it's entirely up to you. Um, all right. So remember the important things: geometric shapes. They all need a mouth and some eyes. Um, in that loudmouth character, you pretty much always see that little tongue shape, which I think really really helps give that effect of it. You know, screaming or being a loud mouth um some sort of just simple pattern in your background i chose to make mine look a little bit like his uh that is it hope everyone uh has a good time making these can't wait to see them bye